All right. It is day five of the bus conversion. And um, I've been filming everything on my cell phone, which died last night while we were in the middle of doing this. So I'm gonna show you guys what you missed and talk about what we're gonna do today. It is Sunday, so yesterday I got a whole lot done. Last night we went ahead and took the panels off on both sides, got started on that process anyway. And we finally got around to ripping up the plywood, which as you can see, there's a lot of rust that I'm gonna have to deal with. But I figured that would be the case. I am in Kansas, so we do get a lot of salt on the roads in the winter. So yeah, let me show you. All right, here she is, folks, the floor. How exciting. <laughs> uh, so we got this panel up and then realized that we're gonna have to make a new um, piece for it in order to cover this hole. So we might just cut a square out of the old wood or at least use it to make a template on some new wood. And then today the plan is to finally get this old heater out of here and all the coolant lines that run all the way up to the front of the bus, which is why this floor isn't up yet because we have to uh, cut the screws off down here. These were really old and hard to unscrew. So yeah, I'm gonna have to buy a lot of rust converter. That's for sure. Also, the other thing we started doing last night was popping rivets. So you have to punch a hole in them and then drill it out completely with a drill. Sometimes that works better than others, but that is the plan today is to finish the rest of that. And there are a lot of rivets. Here we see my awesome sister scraping the reflective tape off my bus. Yay, fun! Is it fun? No. No. You better with a heat gun. <laughs> Come on, Good times. 